Hello and welcome to the Perseus Digital Library. Today we're going to conduct two types of searches. The first will be for a text by a particular author, and the second will be for an individual word. So let's begin with the search for a particular text. We're looking for a text attributed to Demosthenes called Against Neaira. Um, as you can see, it's not listed under popular text, so we'll have to click View Abbreviations. This will give us a complete list of all the works available through Perseus. Uh, it begins with the biblical sources and goes on to the classical sources arranged alphabetically by author. So we'll just scroll down to Demosthenes, and as you can see, each of the works has been assigned a standard number. And this can be very helpful in correctly citing the work in your works cited page. Here we have Against Neira, it's Demosthenes 59. We'll go ahead and close this box. As you can see, it takes you to the English translation first, but we want the Greek. So we'll go over to the bar that says Greek and click onto the word that says Focus. Now, here we have the Greek, and if you're used to having a Kindle, you probably enjoy the dictionary feature, which will allow you to click onto any word, and it will give you a a standard definition, and in this case it takes you to the Little Scott lexicon and it will also parse the word for you. So clicking on Depola, we're given the uh, standard masculine form, which you would find uh, in a regular lexicon, uh, and it means much or many, and we can see that it's uh, been changed, it's been put into a different case, uh, some of the cases are very similar in appearance, and that can make a big difference to how you translate uh, the Greek into English. And in this case, users have voted on the intended form. So most believe it's femi feminine, nominative, and it's Doric or Iolic Greek. Now, this brings us to another important feature if we're looking for an individual word. Uh, you're not able to type Greek words in, in Greek. They have to be transliterated using beta code. And here, the word pola has been transliterated for us. Where it gets tricky is with the diacritical marks. We see that alpha has been transliterated to A, and the acute uh, accent has been uh, changed to a slash. So let's go ahead and conduct a word search to see how many authors use a particular word. And let's go with the uh, beta code example of Manon from Homer's Iliad. So we have to change the default language to Greek, and we're going to search for all possible forms. This will bring all cases, and we'll type in Manon. Click search. And here you have 117 documents in Greek, and they're arranged alphabetically by author. And you could go into any of these texts, click onto the word, and find out uh, the part of speech. So I hope this has been a helpful tutorial, and that you will go on to explore many other features of Perseus. Thank you very much.